We've already discussed Sam Hain, the spirit of Halloween. There are other spirits with less malevolent purposes that are of some benefit, not just on the night the veil of the worlds is pulled aside. Open Spirit Guide lists a few of those. One being named Mush or Moosh, a spirit of eclipses, darkness, and known for his candidacy in making humans afraid of the dark when they're children. He is described as a small spirit, about four feet in height, with brownish, leathery skin. These reports can't be taken as complete fact, as he has never been seen in the light. A healthy fear of not the dark itself, but what's in it, brings us to our next being, Pitkus. Once known as the God of Night, he later became the Demon of Night, after the last few pantheons ruled by Jehovah came to power. He is known to roam the shadows and scare people who are alone in the darkness. However, he does not scare or frighten for pleasure. It is said he does so to protect the humans from other beings that roam the darkness. Pitkiss may have saved you from an encounter with any number of things that bump in the night, and you'd never realize it. However, Halloween or not, one creature stands out any day of the year, named Whispered among children in the night and denied by parents everywhere. A scapegoat for everything from a settling home foundation, a pipe rattling, a branch tapping the window, or your cover getting stuck on the bed. The Boogeyman. Yes, he is real. Also, he is a Class 7 repeating corporeal entity. He is not a ghost, so remember that if you encounter him, then he has access to portals which happen to open in closets and under beds. He mainly manages to survive off fear brought forth by children and can even tap their imaginations in order to gain forms. One should be on their toes should they happen to enter one of his portals and travel to his domain. As while he is there, you are at his will. Only when he is in our realm can there be a true fair fight. He was last seen in 1988 during an event in which paranormal investigators closed his portal. However, there is data that does suggest that the claim it was sealed forever may have been a bit premature. All these creatures and more stir in the shadows beneath our feet, around the corner, and in our mind. One must always be cautious, but not so cautious that you're afraid of living. Once you stop living, well, there might be a different story written about you.